One, two. Father, forgive them. Yes. Hallelujah. For they know not what they do. Thank you, Elder Bethel. Hallelujah. 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 Now our second word from the cross. Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Taken from Luke 23 and verse 43. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. This is the second of the last words of Jesus from the cross. At this time, Jesus had already asked his father to forgive them. So eloquently spoken by our elder. For they know not what they do. Here is referring to Pilate, King Herod, the chief priests, the scribes, the soldiers, and the crowd who cheered and booed him, and those who scorn and those who judge him spitefully. Now there was at the cross two thieves who had a lot in common with Jesus. They were convicted by the same legal service. They were both condemned to die the same death on the cross. They were at the mercy of the same crowd. They were both close to Jesus as the other because Jesus was in the middle, one was on the left, and one was on the right. Now, in the same way, Matthew 27, 44 say, in the same way the robbers who were crucified with him also heaped insults on him. But one of them changed. Mm -hmm. One of them, had, oh no, something ain't right in this situation. God give us the right to make choices that makes the difference when we spend eternity. It's up to you. That's you right. choose better to spend eternity. You, right. you gotta say, oh, Jeannie cost me going to hell. No doubt. Mm -hmm. Or oh, Sean cost me going to hell. You choose better to spend eternity. That's right. You have a choice. That's why one was on the left and one was on the right. You have a choice better you spend eternity. God cares so much about us that he placed Jesus in the middle of them to choose where they want to spend eternity because they both were sent to die. Now mm -hmm. while all this was taking place, Jesus never said a word in his defense. And the sad thing about his words that neither did his disciples who knew he did no wrong. They didn't even say no word in their defense. They're going to say, no, not my master. Oh, he was a healer. Oh, not my master. He was the deliverer. But they said nothing in his defense. They didn't even try to put up the defense for their master, who they knew did no wrong. But watch this now. There's always a rhyme in the ticket. The only person who spoke out in defense of Jesus was a convicted criminal. Any people of God. Wow. The only person who spoke out was a convicted criminal thief, a robber, an unrighteous man, a sinful man spoke on Jesus' behalf. We are told in the Bible that while the thief was hanging on the cross and the one was dead to Jesus, told all the thief, man, this man ain't doing nothing wrong, man. A sinner put up a defense. Not even his disciples. The sinner on the cross say, man, this man didn't do nothing wrong. This thief had the courage and the faith to stand up for Jesus. And this impressed Jesus so much that he told him, today, you're going to join me in paradise. Mm -hmm. Today, he put up a defense. Are you putting up a defense for your master today? Mm -hmm. Are you saying, that my God. Oh, no, he's an awesome wonder. He's a mighty God. He's able to do exceedingly above. Are you putting up a defense for your master? The thief did it. The courage for the disciples ran out the door. So they may stand from a distance and watch. But the thief looked at the other one and said, Man, this man ain't doing no wrong. What y'all trying to do here? The soldiers also mock him. They offer him wine. We've been reading in verse 2, 23, I'm not going 20, 36. And the soldiers also mocked him, coming and offering sour wine, and saying, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. <laughs> and then the scripture was also written over his head in the letters of the Greek, and the Hebrew said, this is the king of the Jews. Then one of the criminals who were hanged blaspheming said, if you are the Christ, I don't want to have no sense, save yourself and us. <laughs> he had no sense, because like they say, forgive them, they know what they're doing, if they know who's on the side, you wouldn't say that. You know what I mean? If you are the Christ, save yourself in us. But the other, the one 
who want to change a father, but who had sex. Who realized when he go about to spend it, I tell you, you can choose your own place where you can spend eternity. He had enough sense to say, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Do you not even fear God? Seeing you are under the same condemnation, you don't have no fear where you can spend eternity. That's how we can tell the man. And we indeed, that's what he's telling the other one. Just yes, yeah, we received the due reward for our deeds. But this man, talking about our God, this man has done nothing. Mm. He put up a defense. Then Jesus said, then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And verse 43. And Jesus said to him, Verily, in other words, for sure. Mm -hmm. Verily. No doubt. No doubt, no, Pastor. For sure. Verily, I say to you, I say to you today, 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 today you will be with me in power like they know tomorrow, today. today, today. He receives salvation through the unearned, unearned gift of God's grace. And it is through this wonderful grace that we can all be saved as well. One song I said, I saw, and I get in the ghetto, get on to the song, my sin was great. Yeah. And grace was free. My God is free. People still ain't want that. Still ain't want it. My sin was great. And grace was free. Pardon? It had to be multiplied to me, Pastor. And he didn't give me one pardon. It was multiplied to me. I don't know about you, but when I read that song, victory, and I'm so glad.